Tommy's gonna taste the gin so that you don't have to Let you save your money, yeah, that's what Tommy wants Minimal dilution, cause we wanna taste the gins But if the gins are bad, then we will throw them in the bin Now let's send it over to Tommy, who is gonna taste? He's gonna get on rowdy and shout up the place What's up you drinking gin bastards? Welcome back to Tommy Tastes. Now, first of all, have you ever looked directly into the eyes of hate? Well, I have, and that hate is flavored gin. <laughs> flavored gin is an absolute cancer upon the gin industry. It does nothing other than emulate the flavors that it's supposed to advertise but in a sugary saccharine nasty formula because you know what people like fruit and sugar the proof of this being jam let's take a step over from flavored gins and talk about color changing gins back in 2018 i predicted whilst writing my ever so cool blog back in the day oh, oh still available to read that color changing gin would be the next big thing to take the gin market by storm. Because like in the 90s and early noughties, when vodka started getting mad with cookies and cream vodka and all of this kind of <laughs> the next thing that came along was colored vodka, vodka with gold flakes, glitter vodka. And now these were the things I predicted that were happening. And I see gold flake gin all the time, glitter gin, and this, the illusionists, color changing gin why they choose to lead with the fact that it is color changing god only knows tell me more about your product and why it's so good not the fact that it comes with a gimmick that's not what i want to hear at all i don't want to judge a book by its color because behind this color changing gin there might actually be a fantastic gin in there it has kind of all the hallmarks of things that i would like e.g 45% ABV. It has a range of 16 different botanicals, including things like licorice root, that's mainly for sweetness, but things like nutmeg shells, citrus, and the color changing element of this gin comes from some Asiatic flower, and the color is a byproduct of the distillation process. It does not use that flower post distillation. So this comes off the still in this weird blue color. It does change color when you add tonic or other liquid to the gin. But my experience with colored gins to date is not particularly good. The one that I've tried being Ungava gin, a Canadian gin that is the color of Yunnan's piss. And when you dilute it, it looks more like mm, dilute piss. This comes from Munich. It's not really a terroir gin. Oh nein, das ist scheiße. And I think it kind of hopped on the bandwagon of other things from the south of Germany. For example, the Alchemist's gin, which is like this weird color changing gin as well. I think the best thing we can do before we judge this book by its cover is get it in a glass and see if I can justify some of the hate that I feel for it. Early doors. Taste time. Yeah, sorry about the overabundance of German gins lately. I just can't get enough of the sausage. So for your viewing pleasure, there's my miniature bottle of the Illusionist gin. I refuse to buy a full bottle on the basis that I have no idea how this is going to taste and whether I want this in my gin cabinet. It is a very vibrant blue color. Now, it kind of looks like some of those weird blue wines that you get, which are awful. And I'm guessing that this is a gin that is supposed to be mixed. So I don't necessarily think that I should be evaluating it as a neat sipping gin, but it is a dry gin. Let's have a whiff. My eyes, the goggles do nothing. I'm desperate to find something because of this weird blue color that it has. But to be honest, it just kind of smells like a gin. Not a particularly complex gin and one that has 16 botanicals. I definitely get like little bits of rosemary. I get little bits of citrus. It's not quite so juniper heavy, but I don't get any specific like floral aroma from it. I think it's time that we actually taste this and see what it's like. Run! Go! Get to the 
Jabba! This is definitely a gin that is a sipping gin, really. It's not like a flavour gin, which you really do have to dilute because they're so unpalatable when they're drank neat. The question for me is really whether you want to drink this gin. Like I said, on the nose, it wasn't terribly complex and it wasn't like overly pronounced. And it's exactly the same on the palate. It feels like a gin, it's very clean, but there's no real finish to it. And it's just not that unique or that enjoyable. It's not bad. But bear in mind, if you get a full bottle of this Illusionist Gin, which does cost somewhere in the region of 35 to 50 euros, depending on where you get it from, even more in the UK, approximately 50 pounds, you expect something pretty unique. And the unique thing, as far as I'm aware now, is the blue colour, definitely not the flavour. Let's get a bit of ice in there and see if that changes at all. I hope it does, because I actively want to like this gin so that I can be proved wrong. But so far, meh. Okay, will the colour change the moment I put the ice in here? Let's have a little test. No. <laughs> okay, but how does it taste? And for my next trick, I'll make this gin taste not shit. It actually tastes way, way better. It's way more floral, more fragrant. I can feel the juniper more now. The finish is longer. It says that there's some kind of chemical reaction that happens when you dilute it. And maybe just like the small amount of dilution that the ice is giving to it there has actually caused that reaction to happen. Whether it actually affects the flavor or if it's just the color, color compounds, I don't know. But this is better, it's a completely different gin almost. Now, when I've seen this online, they dilute it a shitload in order to get the color change. So let's see what happens. <coughs> Lol, ruffle, fail, try again. <coughs> so that's the rest of my illusionist in there. Typical blue color. Try pointing at the camera, dumbass. Hey, there we go. And there's the color change. So yeah, now we've got the pinky purpley gin. Not too sure what it was. Maybe it's like the carbon dioxide from the actual tonic water itself that gives it that. Let's see how it tastes. Up and at em. Up and at them. Up and at em. Up and at them. Up and at em. Up and at them. Just a bit nondescript, really. Like, it's a nice gin. But you know when we talked about Kiro gin being kind of like a supermarket gin? Not that it was bad, but it was like enough to let you know that it was gin. Well, this kind of feels the same, but it's a pretty colour. There's not a lot more to say, really. I'm really quite let down by it. I thought, if anything, it was going to have a lot of flavour. I might not like the flavour, but I thought it would be bursting with flavour. And it's just not. It's a gin. And that's kind of where it ends. It's fine, but spending 50 odd euros on this would be absolute insanity, other than if you're into just colour changing to make guests to your house just go, ooh. But once the colour change has happened, there's just nothing to really say. Stop whining. Your kids are soft. You lack discipline. There is no bathroom. Gin is flavour of the month. I have not seen anything take off in this way since Pokemon cards hit my f***ing primary school. But instead of being something that was joyful and had a world of fantasy about it, this just feels like a bit of a senseless cash-in. This is something where they've taken a gin that is fine, nothing wrong with it, but they've thought, how can we promote this to be something better than it is? And it is that colour changing element. Sure, it looks good, it works nicely in cocktails, and it doesn't affect the flavour. But it's not a good gin. It's fine to drink, but why you would spend your money on this when you could have two and a half bottles of Needle Masterpiece is beyond me. Illusionist, illusion off, and fucking disappear. Blah! Oh, you like and subscribe, girl. Like and subscribe. What? 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 Like and subscribe. Uh huh. Uh huh. Work it out. Like and subscribe. Uh -huh.